Greetings everyone, Shane here at The Brick House, back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a Lego unboxing of some sets I purchased several months ago and they finally come in, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. Now the first set I'm unboxing is a set that I really wanted. It's my favorite. I wanted to pick up two, but I was only able to pick up one. And that is the Bricklink Studgate train station. This set is incredible. I love the fact that it comes in its own shipper box. As you can see, the box is perfect. This set is incredible. I wanted to pick up two, but I was only able to get one. This set was $400. It's already selling on eBay for $800, so it's instantly doubled in price. This is the beauty of the Bricklink sets is that once you order them, it's a one-time run. So once they come to your house, they're already retired and they're already doubling in value. Now the set has been going down a little in value on eBay as more and more people put them online to sell and there's just more supply than demand. I'm hoping to get the Orient Express in November, that new idea set that comes out. And then I will put this together and I will put the Orient Express through this. So I'm really excited about this set. Several months ago, I did a video on a recession buster giveaway. I told you a recession is coming. I think at the end of 2022, people thought maybe we would avoid a recession. There is no doubt in my mind that America is going to go into a severe extended recession. And what that's going to do to the prices of Lego and Lego investors, I'm going to explain to you in my next video when I go through Lego's financial statement of 2022 and give you my prediction on what's gonna happen with the price of Lego and Lego investing as we move forward. So make sure you stick around for that video. Now this set I really loved from the beginning. It wasn't one of the most popular sets, but once it came, I actually loved it even more. And that's the observatory. As I said, I love this when I first saw it. I thought it was really unique and really beautiful. Once again, my only mistake was I only purchased one of these. It was originally $300, but they sold it for $250. Once again, this set is already selling for almost $500 on eBay. I only have one, so I have no intention of selling this. I have no intention of selling this one either. I'm going to put both of these together. Um, but once again, this is a set that I'm so happy to have. And I'm thinking what I might do as these Bricklink sets, which I think are some of the best sets LEGO is producing, and as they continue to produce more of them year after year, I may even think about creating a Bricklink city because eventually there's gonna be so many cool sets that I can do my own Bricklink layout. So. Keep an eye out on that in the months to come. The next set I purchased, and this was another one of my favorites, is the Winter Chalet. Um, this is a nice set. Um, I plan on building one of these as well. This set is kind of like a UCS set for the Winter Collection. So I bought this one. Really happy to pick this one up. And once again, this set is already doubled in value. And then one of my favorite sets that I loved from the beginning, and this is the diner set. This is kind of a retro diner. If any of you have been to Jersey where diners kind of got their start and there were these kind of trailer diners. Once I saw this set, I had to buy it. This is a really great set. I'm definitely putting this together. Um, so, Super happy I was able to pick this up. And then in the final box, I was able to pick up another diner set, which I'm really happy about. So one I can put together and one I'm going to add to my collection in several years from now. I think this set's, like I said, this set's already doubled in value. I'm thinking it's gonna triple or even quadruple four or five years from now. You know, my original investing strategy was to buy a set that I wanted to put together because that's what Lego is all about but also buying the exact same set to one day down the line to at least double the price of what I paid for it. So this set that I sell several years from now will end up paying for this set. And then the final set, I was able to get two winter chalets. So here are my Bricklink sets that I purchased. I was able to get two of two of the sets, one of the astronomy towers and one of the stud gates. I wish I would have bought two of those. If you notice, I didn't get the construction set. When it first came out, it didn't interest me that much. I regret not getting it now because I see it on eBay selling for $650. But besides that, I really liked it and it would have gone nice in my Bricklink city that I plan on building one day. Um, as I said, I think Lego sets are going to start coming down in price and so if I see it at a reasonable price several months from now I'm going to pick up one of the construction sites there's a new Bricklink designer program that 
Lego will announce the sets at end of May and they'll be on sale in February for you to pick up. And this time you'll be able to buy two instead of one. So you'll be able to get two of every set. They're gonna produce 20,000 instead of 10,000. I don't think that's going to affect the value too much because I see most people buying two of every set, those who really want them. Um, moving forward, I am going to purchase less Lego sets. I haven't done any Lego reviews because the, the prices of Lego sets are just a little overpriced right now. And I'm waiting to see some of the sets on sale. Once I see the A-frame cabin on sale, I'm gonna buy one and put it together and do a review. But as I said, look for my next video, which I'm going to go through the Lego financial statement of 2022 and give you my prediction for Lego sales and Lego investing for 2023. That's my video for today. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.